What's up? What's up? Oh yeah. What's up? I hope you're doing great. I'm Mr. Noble from Noble Hangout. And today I will be sharing with you why we experience laggy and unreliable performance uh, from our smart devices and also why our Wi-Fi and our cellular providers is sometimes not reliable. All right, so if you're excited, let's jump right into this video. Okay, we will go over a variety of reasons why you're unable to connect to a cellular tower with your iPhone and some of the potential issues. All right, number one, you could be in an area where you get poor cellular coverage. Number two, there could be a problem with your cellular tower close to your home that's preventing your phone from connecting. Number three, the SIM card in your phone could be damaged and might need to be replaced. Or your eSIM is not connecting properly and you may need to contact your service provider. And number four, the settings on your phone are not working properly for the cellular network you're trying to connect to. So now let's go over some settings in your phone that could make a huge difference if they're not toggled on properly. All right, so if you notice, cellular data says on, Wi-Fi is on, and Bluetooth is on. So if I turn cellular off, it just it says off, and you don't get a line through it. Now we're gonna turn Wi-Fi off. It says not connected. Also, Bluetooth says not connected. So th there is a way to actually physically turn these off, which control panel doesn't let you turn them off straight from the control panel. So we're going to talk about another way that's very rare that people actually use, and it's long pressing on the home screen. With long pressing on the settings app on the home screen. And if you look right here, we're going to go to settings. And you see you got a, a list of options that pop up. So for instance, we're going to hit Bluetooth. And we actually turn Bluetooth off straight from here. Now we're going to go back into the control center. And as you notice, now it has a line through it. And it actually says it's off. We're going to go back and we're going to repeat the same process. For Wi-Fi. Now we're going to hit Wi-Fi. And as you notice, Wi-Fi, turn it off. It's actually off now. And we're going to go back in the control panel. And it actually says off now. Now, if we go into airplane mode, like we normally do to turn connections off, turn on airplane mode, it, it doesn't affect any of the other connections. Now, I turn airplane back on, and as you notice, none of the other connections come back on. They all still stay off. We're going to turn airplane mode off. We're going to turn cellular data on. We're going to turn Bluetooth on, and we're going to turn Wi-Fi on. Now, if we hit airplane mode now, all of them blank off. But guess what happens if I turn airplane mode off? So now, if I turn airplane mode on, you notice that all of them go off. Now, if I turn airplane mode off, you will see all three of them come on. This is something that I actually noticed 
a few times, but I, in all reality, I really never really paid attention to it. So, whatever one, if I turn these off right now and they all say not connected, cellular data is always going to say off. It's never going to have the line in it. And I hit airplane mode. Now, if I hear airplane mode again, these two come back on. So I'm going to turn these off again. Turn this, I'm going to turn the cellular data back on, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth back on. And now we're going to do some speed tests. Okay, the first one we're going to do, we're going to cut off this and cut off this. And we're just running sailor. So we're going to go test. I'm going to change the server to my nearest T-Mobile. Because I want to run T-Mobile with T-Mobile. So I'm running iPhone 14 Pro Max. It still says, if you notice, it's still showing that Wi-Fi it's not off it's just not connected and i'm going to show you the difference with this with the speed test so t-mobile with the t-mobile server on the iphone 14 pro max let's see what we get So we get 66.9 download. So we get 66.9 download. And upload, we get 6.99. Now, this time we're going to do it and Now you see it's not connected. We're actually going to go back to that setting. And we're going to go turn Wi-Fi off. And now you see Wi-Fi is actually off. We're, we're actually on sailor. So we're going to go back here to the speed test. And we're gonna test this again with just cellular and Wi-Fi actually off. And let's see if we get a difference from 66 and 6.99. All right, test again. So the first time you notice, we got 63.5. I mean, and as you, if you remember, on the first speed test, we had 66.9. And upload was 6.69 or 6.99. So we're actually getting better results on the upload and a little bit slower on the download. So if we're uploading YouTube videos or we want to upload, we know that we need to have the Wi-Fi actually off for uploads. Downloads, it really is really not making a difference on the speed. We lost, uh, we lost a few megabytes. So we could still use with the Wi-Fi on or the Wi-Fi not connected with the button turned off. Now... Let's do the same thing for Wi-Fi and let's see what we come out with. 
So I'm gonna turn cellular off and I'm actually gonna turn Wi-Fi on. And we're gonna run that test again. All right, now we're on Wi-Fi. Running on T-Mobile. We're actually, we're gonna start this test over to make sure it's connected to a tower. All right, let's run it now. And this is with no other connection on, just Wi-Fi. So my T-Mobile home Wi-Fi is pretty good. Uh, 50.8, it varies day, you know, from day to day and during different times of the day when uh, the towers are congested. So you might get a little slow and, you know, your, your phone might, the performance might slow down a little bit. Also depends on what you're doing on your phone. If you're streaming 4K, stuff like that, Sometimes you gotta expect that, that that's gonna run a little slow. So, let me show you the difference now if we actually turn on Bluetooth. If you got Bluetooth running and Wi-Fi running at the same time, you could it could possibly slow down your phone also with having both of those connected. So we're gonna do another speed test. So we're connected to a tower. So watch what happens with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth turned on. You see how it kind of stutters? You got to kind of get some lagging uh, while it's doing the speed test. So we see Bluetooth don't really help the connection. It's best if you're gonna be uploading or download, you might wanna turn the Bluetooth off. Make sure it's turned off completely, like I showed you in settings, and not just turn it off from the control panel. All right, so now we're gonna turn Wi-Fi off. We're gonna leave Bluetooth on and we're going to turn on cellular data and run cellular and Bluetooth together. Make sure we're connected to a tower, which we are. Now let's see what we get for our download and our upload speeds. Before with our Bluetooth turned on, we had about 50. Sometimes it goes over 100 uh, megs per speed uh, on a speed test. Like I said, it, it's different parts of the day where it runs better. But you know, that's to be expected, especially like on a Friday or Saturday or Sunday on a weekend where a lot of people is used. So see, we, we, we lost about 5% uh by having the bluetooth on so okay we're going to try it again we're going to turn the bluetooth completely off from settings and we know now that bluetooth is actually off there's a line through it and we're also going to make sure that the Wi-Fi is actually off. So we're going to turn the Wi-Fi completely off. We're going to close this out. We're going to close that out. And we're going to make, go back in so we can see that is, everything is actually has a slash to it. Except for cellular. Cellular, even if you turn it off like I said earlier it still won't have the, the line through it, saying that it's actually completely off. It'll actually be off when you turn it off from the actual control panel. All right, so 
Everything's off. The only thing's on is Sailor. Let's go back and run another test. Make sure we're connected to a tower before we hit go. Change my, I always change my server to the actual tower. So I'm running on T-Mobile. And we're gonna hit go. Now this one is running LTE. We're going to do a 5G UC after this one. All right, so now I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to turn on 5G. 5G auto. And I'm also going to be running a lot more data on 5G. And we're going to see what we get. Now that we did this, we're going to close that out. Make sure we're connected to a T-Mobile tower. Thanks to a T-Mobile tower. And now we're going to run the final test with 5G. Wait for 5G to pop up. So we're running on 5G. I don't know why it's not showing at the top, but let's go ahead and run it. Look at the speed we get with 5G. And like I said, nothing else is on. Everything else is off but Sailor. Look at this, the speed that I get with 5G. And just to tell you, 5G don't always work like this all the time. Sometimes it works good, but most times I, I get lost connection, especially when I'm watching videos and stuff like that. But you can see that it's great on 5G. So you see all of these play a huge part in how your iPhone performs. There are ways I found using the settings app, like I mentioned and bringing up those options and turning on those toggles uh, can help your connection and help you make your day easier uh, a little smoother uh, your iphone your ipad your macbook anything like that you can they, 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 those toggles right there depending on how you turn them on you see you get different uh, responses especially on the speed test and you'll see the overall performance of your phone get better if you toggle on these three options the correct way